This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Asus GE62 MVR gaming laptop. And I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Asus GE62 MVR gaming laptop. Um, this is a non-touch screen and it has an internal battery so we're not going to disconnect the battery in this case but anytime a laptop has an external battery or anytime the ba laptop has a touch screen I strongly re recommend disconnecting the battery before doing the procedure. All right, uh, The tools that we're going to use today we're going to have a PH1 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 is the size. A pair of metal tweezers to pry things open and to manipulate cables. A hobby knife or exacto knife to lift up adhesive tape. A, spudge, a spudger, it's a prying tool to pry things off. And a smaller PH0 electronics screwdriver. So uh, this particular model, it's pretty simple. Uh, there's no screws to remove from the screen bezel. So we can start by removing the screen bezel and that's the plastic frame around the screen. And to do that, we put our fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently start lifting up and lifting out. And we'll hear some snapping sounds. And in this way, we go around the screen assembly like so and the other side too. And on the bottom there's some adhesive tape that's attaching to the screen itself. So we carefully go around there and put the bezel to the side. So let's make a note where the magnet is. Sometimes the magnet falls out and we want to make sure that the magnet does not fall out. Next, we're going to remove two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom that are holding the screen together. At the bottom, there's some metal foil that's obscuring the screws. So we're going to lift up the metal foil, like so, and then that will show the screws. And, and we're just going to put the metal foil to the side so we don't lose it, keeping track of where it goes back. Uh, the metal foil does serve a grounding function. so it is important to put back once the new screen is in. All right, and let's remove the screws. So we put the screws in a single pile and when we do remove the screen from the screen assembly, we wanna have it tilted back a little bit. And the reason is we don't want the screen falling forward when we remove all the screws from the screen assembly. So that's four screws. And next we grab by the tabs, metal tabs, and lay the screen down like this. And there's only one connector to disconnect. And we lift up the we lift up the adhesive tape with the hobby knife, peel it back, and then gently remove the connector. So we want to have a good grip on it. What I like to do is let's get a close-up and just pull the connector back like that. So when reconnecting the new screen what we want to do is push it in. You'll hear but not, you'll feel but not hear two clicks and this, pause the video right here, this is the close-up of the connection. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the con connection should be flush with each other. Let's pull back a little bit and let's take a look at this screen. Uh, for this particular model, it's a 15.6 inch EDP full HD screen with a matte finish. All right, and there are some distinctions that we need to make for the screen. Uh, some of the models of this laptop may have the 4K screen in the future or a QHD screen in the future. So this particular one is a full HD. Now, uh, this for this laptop, the screen was replaced once before already. And uh, the other distinguishing feature of this screen, it's an IPS screen. 
IPS means that you can view it at a higher angle without the screen changing color. So make sure that if you are if if you are need that feature to view the screen at a different angle, make sure you order the IPS screen. The part number of the IPS screen is LP one five six WF six SP B1. So that's the part number of the IPS screen. Now uh, this screen that's in there right now, it's a non-IPS screen. This will work on it perfectly uh, fine also. And the part number for that is N156HGE-EAL. So if you do care about the IPS, make sure it's specified as IPS when you order it. Okay, uh, you can order this screen uh, from us, from Screen Surgeons, and uh, to do that, you go to www.screensurgeons.com, and there will be a short form for you to fill out on the front page where you can place the order for this screen. And if you do really need the IPS screen, please uh, let us know and specify it in the order. Okay, uh, with with our screens, we do have this uh, free toolkit and you do get free shipping in the United States. All right, uh, once you do get the screen in, uh, reconnect the connector like I showed you, put the two metal grounding straps in the front, mount the screen in the screen assembly, and then put two screws in, in the top and two screws in at the bottom, and then snap the screen bezel back on. And that's it, you should, your computer should be working again. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Once again, my name is Eugene Pan Rutkovich. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Good luck.